Hey guys, it's Sarah with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade 3.5 inch bull bar with skid plate and 20 inch dual row LED light bar for your 16 and newer Toyota Tacomas. This bull bar features heavy duty 3.5 inch tubular stainless steel construction with a textured black powder coat finish. This bull bar includes an integrated skid plate as well as a 20 inch light bar for all of your off-road adventures. This light bar has a textured black powder coat housing with a polycarbonate lens, as well as a waterproof rating of IP67, making it ideal for use in wet conditions. Coming in at around $320, this bull bar is on the higher end price-wise, but for your money, it is jam-packed with features like the integrated skid plate, as well as the light bar that some of the lower price options do not offer. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately one hour and features direct bolt-up installation. However, some minor trimming is required. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used 16 and 13 millimeter wrenches, an impact gun, ratchets, small extension, swivel extension, 16, 14, 13, 12, and 10 millimeter sockets if you can find them, as well as a pop clip removal tool. So the first step for our install is to remove this air dam on the bottom of your Tacoma's bumper. For this, you're gonna want a 10 millimeter socket, and let's get this off. Using your 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolts holding your air dam to your bumper. Don't forget about the two bolts on the other side of the air dam. These also hold it on. There should be two on each side on the opposite side of the air dam in the wheel well. With the bolts removed, remove your air dam. So this portion of the install is optional, but we're going to remove the grill to get a better look at where these brackets are going and to get to them a little easier. Grab a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts out of the top of the grill. Next up, remove the two pop clips holding in your grill to your headlight. With all of the hardware out of the grill, pull up on the two plastic brackets on the top and then pull the grill straight out. We're also going to remove these plastic air dams behind our grill. Remove the pop clip. And you should be able to slide these out. Pulling straight out to release the clips, you should be able to twist it and remove it. So with our grill and our air dams removed, we can now see the crash beam nuts that we have to remove. We're gonna take off the two on the outside of our crash beam. We're gonna start with this one on the top because it is easier to get to from this angle. Using your 14 millimeter socket, remove this nut. So you do have to remove part of this splash guard in order to install the brackets. Ours has already been cut, but I have the piece here to demonstrate. You're just gonna cut right along this frame piece here and then straight out just to clear about that much room for the bracket. And with this cut away, we can now see the bottom nut. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and remove it. Repeat those steps on the other side. All right, now that we have the nuts removed off of our crash bar, we can grab our bracket that is stamped with a D for driver's side and line it up with those studs and get them tightened down. Coming up from the bottom of your Tacoma, the bracket goes to the outside of your crash bar, and in order to do so, you do need to cut a little bit of the splash guard here and here. Once you've done that and removed this small piece, your bracket slides right on the outside. Slide your crash bar through the hole that you just made, up and over both of those studs, holding your crash bar in. 
Grab your long hardware with a spacer washer and small washer on the end. You're gonna slide it into the back of your frame in this hole here. And it's gonna come through the other side to meet our bracket, which you do need to slide one of these spacer washers between the bracket and the frame. Make sure it catches on your long bolt and goes through both that and the bracket. Once your spacer washer is lined up with your bracket, Install a regular washer, lock washer, and the nut over the end of this long bolt. Grab a 16 millimeter socket and wrench. You may also want a swivel extension for this and tighten this down. Grab the factory nuts and thread them back over your studs for your crash bar. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and tighten these down. With this portion of your splash guard already cut, repeat that process on the passenger side. Grabbing the bracket that's slated for the passenger side, get it up and over the two studs on the outside of your crash bar. Grab your long hardware. With your hardware through the frame, get the spacer washer and get the bolt the rest of the way through your bracket. Grab a regular washer and slide it over the end of your bolt, as well as a lock washer and your nut. Grab your 16 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten this down. Grab the factory hardware and thread it over your studs on your crash bar. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and tighten these down. So now that our brackets are bolted up to the Tacoma, we can prep our bull bar to bolt to them. Grab your light bar and line it up right in the middle of both of the brackets. With our light bar lined up, grab the polished hardware And with a lock washer, washer, and bolt, thread it into the end of our light bar. With your 13 millimeter socket, tighten these down. With our light bar installed, we can now install our brackets. And these are not side specific, so grab one and line it up with the side of your bull bar. And grab the eight by 35 millimeter hardware and thread it in. Make sure you have a washer and lock washer on these as well. Now we are gonna leave these snug but not tight, just so we still have this adjustability in this bracket. And we're gonna tighten these down once it's bolted up. Repeat that on the other side. All right, at this point, we can put our air dams back in and put our grill back on the Tacoma. With our air dams in place, we can now replace our grill. Make sure you're lining up these two top plastic brackets with the holes that they go into. You also wanna line them up at each headlight. Replace the hardware. Tighten it down with a 10 millimeter socket. Replace the pop clips at each headlight. All right, so at this point, if you would like to use your splash guard, you just have to cut two small holes in it to clear these brackets that we just installed. Hold it up to the bottom of your bumper, mark where these brackets would come through, and make your cuts. It is important to remember that you should not cut into this top ridge here because that's how it holds to your bumper. But if you like the look of your bumper without this, you definitely do not have to reuse it. 
Now that our grill is installed on our Tacoma, we can grab our bull bar and get it mounted to the brackets that are already on the truck. Line up the brackets on your bull bar to the outside of the ones bolted to the truck. Line up your brackets, grab your hardware, and get them through both sides. Once your bolts are through, grab your washer, lock washer, and a nut and thread it on. Line up the other side of the bull bar and repeat that process on the other side. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of adjustability in this front bar here. So you do wanna look at the front of your Tacoma and make sure it's lined up where you want it before you tighten it down. You can also always adjust this later if it doesn't quite sit where you like. Grab your 16 millimeter wrench and socket and tighten these down. Repeat that process on the other side. Grab a 13 millimeter wrench and tighten down the two bolts holding the bracket to your bull bar. Repeat that process on the other side. Now that our bull bar is mounted to the front of our Tacoma, we do have to wire up our light bar up here. It's nice that they included these plug and play harnesses so that it's just a matter of running it through the truck. Now you can pretty much run this wherever you'd like and I'll leave the routing decision up to you, but I'm gonna run this just right through the bottom of the grill here because it's a nice convenient spot. All right, so with the supplied wiring harness, we're gonna run this from the light bar down through this side of the engine bay and through the firewall. We're gonna place it right in the engine bay for now. And then we're run going to run the front of this through the back of the headlight portion of your rad support and to the other clip on our light bar. Once you're happy with the routing of the pigtail off your light bar, plug in the connector on that to the connector on your wiring harness. Secure the remainder of the wiring harness in the engine bay somewhere so it doesn't move around. And next up, we're going to attach the positive and negative on this side to the battery itself. With a 10 millimeter socket, disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. We're gonna attach the eyelet for the negative side over this stud here. But for now, we're gonna remove the negative terminal so we can mess with the positive side. With the negative side of the battery removed, remove this nut on the positive side of the battery. Get the side with the red, the positive, over the side of the positive of the battery. And tighten this down. Reconnect the negative side of the battery. Place the black eyelet over the negative side of the battery. Grab the factory nut and thread it back over the stud. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten this down. Next up, we're gonna mount our relay somewhere in the engine bay. You can pretty much mount this wherever you'd like as long as it's secured, but two good spots are either the ground bolt up top here or there's another ground bolt a little lower. We're gonna go with the one up top here so you guys can get a good look at it. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and loosen this up. So finally, we just have to route this controller into the cab of the Tacoma. Again, you can route this however you'd like. We're just gonna show you one way that we think is pretty easy. We're gonna go right back on here on the firewall to this rubber grommet. And to make it a little easier, we're gonna disconnect the button from this part of the wiring harness so we don't have this big end to route through there. So you're just gonna pull back on this grommet and run your connector through to the backside. 
Now we're going to pull our connector and wiring harness through that grommet from inside the engine bay into the cabin. Once we have this through, grab your connector and reconnect it to your button. Now all we have to do is pull back this adhesive and mount it wherever we'd like it in the engine bay. Also, you don't want to tuck up this harness if you have any extras. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of our bull bar. Remember, for all things Tacoma, keep it at extremeterrain.com.